my next guest is about to come on the show, and I know a lot of you guys on Twitter and Facebook are really excited to be listening to this. Uh, she's definitely one of the biggest stars on uh, the Benefit Street when it was on Channel 4. Everybody was talking about her. She was involved in live television and debates. It's the one and only, it's Dee. Hello. Hello there. You no, all right? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Now, what do you like to be called? Is it D, White D? I mean, because we all know you as White D, so are we allowed to call you that? Um, you can call... Well, not call me whatever you want. You can call me whatever you want. Aw, thank you but very much. my name is D. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm really excited that you're on, because since you've been on the show, I mean... You were in the front page of newspapers, you were in magazines, you were involved in live television debates. I mean, you were trending on Twitter as well. I mean, did you ever expect any of this to come from being on the documentary on Channel 4? I didn't even know what trend Twitter meant. I mean, it's, it's still completely surreal, really. I mean, I, I can't buy a paper. I feel really weird buying a paper. There's a picture of me on it. And, <laughs> We're, we're losing you a little bit there. Never mind, go mad over it. We're losing you a little bit there with your signal. Sorry, can you hear me now? That's it, yeah, we got you back. Um, okay. So, how, how were you approached to be part of the show? I mean, did a group of producers kind of say, look, we've got this format that we're interested in making? I mean, how was it, how did it all come about for you? It was the you? other day, believe it or not. Um, they approached her at a job fair and said that they wanted to do a documentary on, you know, how people survive as a community nowadays. And obviously, because she knew how we were and how we all got on, she, she agreed and brought them up, then got fed up with them and then threw them in the <laughs> 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 Now, what I would love to know is because, I mean, when you're approached on the show and to what you finally watched back, did you ever think that the cut made you out to be something that you weren't? Or do you think that you came across in a bad way due to editing? Did you ever feel like that when watching something we back? Did, I mean, we did argue over the editing and thing, but our main problem was what they'd called the programme. Because yeah. at no time whatsoever was Benefit, you know, Benefit Street ever mentioned to us at all. And, yeah, so... Because I guess the show was about finding work... But it, in reality, it's not about finding work. If you actually watch it, it's about how we help each other, how we look after each yeah. other, how we look out for each other. You know what I mean? Which is what it's... You know what I mean? Which is... <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be about. And they just, boom, slapped Benefit Street on it. But it got viewers, let's just say. Well, I mean, it was one of Channel 4's most watched programmes, but what I loved, and I think it was Television Gold, was you and um, Katie Hopkins on that television debate. How did, how did you stay so calm, honestly? I think it's probably because I'd, I'd spent most of the day with her, and I, I just think, you know, she's nothing like what she comes across in the press. Really? You know, I was in a green room with her from half past four in the afternoon. Lovely woman. Are we talking about the same lady? I think we might be. <laughs> I know. It's, it, I, I mean, I think. I think that's right. I think I was more in shock. You know? Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I, I was very in shock because obviously I thought it to come out, you know, guns blazing, and I, I was ready for it. You know, one of them ones. And no, she was nice as pie. What I do have to uh, quickly ask you, uh, in, a, in one of the papers, it did quote, obviously you, you've got a very close relationship on the show with Fungi, and you really looked out for him and helped yeah. him to get his life back together. But was it, there was a, a, a newspaper that said that he kind of slated you and said that, you know, you've forgotten about everybody since becoming famous from the show. I mean, is, is, was there any truth to that? Is that just something that a paper's quote? There's absolutely quote? no truth whatsoever. I'm still in my house. Yeah. I have spoken to Fungi. Fungi, Fungi believe it or not, he's actually in rehab in Wales at the moment. Yeah. Um, he's got another couple of weeks to go. He didn't say things like that, because obviously, how would Fungi know? Because I think he said something like, um, she doesn't speak to me anymore, now she's got £60,000 in the bank. Um, well, obviously, we can't speak to him, because Channel 4 took him away and took his phone off him. Oh, OK, I see. So, cause obviously, newspapers can sometimes misquote people, so I just wanted to... Newspapers quite often... <laughs> yes! <laughs> newspapers quite often just make things up. Now, I do know that at the moment you're very hot stuff, because there's rumours... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> there's rumours that a lot of reality shows are wanting you, and apparently 
Celebrity Big Brother were very keen to to maybe get you on there in the future. Is that something you would possibly look into? Um, obviously, you know, it's offers. I mean, absolutely absurd, unbelievable offers are coming through. I mean, I watch Big Brother. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, and to have actually, you know, them sort of saying we'd like to talk to you, but obviously I haven't agreed anything, or you know, it's like I'm just I'm just going with the flow. I'm just concentrating on my rap career at the moment. I know you've actually I've, I've seen this. You've made a rap song. We have, yes, me and an up and coming Birmingham band called Crossover, spelled X O V A. <laughs> now, are you loving life? Did you, you're the next Jay Z. Um, well, I wouldn't say Jay-Z, because obviously he's a bloke. OK, the next uh, female rapper, um... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Iggy no, no. something she's called. She's, she's a well-known one. My children are just completely mortified at the moment, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now, what, I suppose a question that you're getting asked a lot at the moment in interviews and stuff, since coming off the show and with the work offers, are you still on benefits or are you a working lady? Um... I'm still suffering from depression. Yeah. I'm still... Um, my doctors are still trying to find the right balance of medication.